Our planet is heating. The global temperature is rising fast since 1960. For a long time, scientists said that hitting this line will cause a spike in wildfires, mass migration, and it's going to cost us more than $43 trillion. That's what's going to happen if we stop here. Right now, we're on track to go way past that. If action is not taken, it will take the planet into an unprecedented climate future if we compare it to what has happened during all of human evolutionary history. The best way to lower the global temperature is to lower our CO2 emissions, and carbon capture and utilization can help us in doing so. CCU is the process of capturing CO2 and converting it to useful products. This circular reuse of CO2 can play a key role in the transition to a low-carbon industry. The way this works is, renewable energy turns water into oxygen and hydrogen. CO2 emissions and the hydrogen are used to make green methanol. This methanol and its side products, such as heat, oxygen, and water, are also used locally. An ideal location was quickly found within the North Seaport area. There are many reasons why the peninsula Rodenhuse has been chosen. In the North Sea port, there are large volumes of CO and CO2, up to 20 million tons per year, in relatively high concentrations and of high quality. We have potentially large industrial buyers of chemical products and e-fuels, such as methanol and ammonia, with the ability to utilize the byproducts as residual heat, water and oxygen. We have a high voltage grid connection with renewable energy from wind offshore in the North Sea. We can use that energy to produce hydrogen through electrolysis. We have intense logistic activities with transport by road, rail, water and pipeline. We also have a lot of storage capacity and much space to invest. We have a powerful innovation and a knowledge cluster, strong in energy, in chemical and biochemical technology. But who is up for such a challenge? 20 industrial and public partners will collaborate intensively. Large industrial partners can provide renewable energy or CO2 as a feedstock. Others are potential off-takers for the green methanol and byproducts. Some partners are specialized in piping infrastructure or storage facilities or create innovative methanol applications. The innovation part of the project is managed by specialized knowledge partners, the university, and two spearhead clusters, one for energy and one for chemistry. And all this is actively supported by public entities, the city, the province, and the transnational port community. This project started with a preliminary study in 2018. The first large-scale demonstrator will be up and running by 2024, called North Sea Methanol, producing green methanol and will have an electrical capacity of 63 megawatt. By 2028, green methanol and ammonia will be produced, and the electrical capacity will increase to 300 megawatt. By 2030, formic acid will also be produced. Furthermore, the electrical capacity will increase to 600 megawatt. By 2040, the North CCU hub wants to produce higher value chemicals, such as fatty acids, proteins, and esters, Along this roadmap, the innovation trajectory is continuously feeding the different large-scale demonstrators with new elements and applications. When all stages are up and running, more than 1 million tons of CO2 will be saved, captured, and avoided together. Belgium's national and regional governments plan the way forward with a holistic decarbonization approach. The region of Flanders commits itself to support CCU installations and the deployment of Flemish research and innovation channels, such as the Moonshot program. With the Green Deal, the European Commission has launched an ambitious plan to make Europe climate neutral by 2050. The overall ambition of the North CCU hub is to prove that a real circular industry exists by creating new value chains as self-supporting businesses. A financial help will be crucial in the early stages of the North CCU hub roadmap so that things can be demonstrated and the economy of scale will solve the rest.